it's Texas Tiger Digs, and yeah, I thought I would go full vlog here. <laughs> Sometimes I do watch these guys in these videos at these high-class hotels and stuff. So I thought I would show myself at a medium to low class hotel, but it really is nice. I gotta admit, <laughs> this is uptown for most of us metal detector guys. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not much bigger than a matchbox, but the bed is big and, and it'll hold me up. And it's far enough that if I fall out of it, I'll break my neck. So I thought I would talk a little detecting here in an environment that's different than my kitchen table or out in the field. I would have preferred to be out in the field, but uh, uh, see, I forgot to carry my cameras with me today. Anyway, uh, I just, I'm just going to show you a few finds. These, these finds are going to be a part of the weekly uh, hunt. And, but basically, it's, just, uh, it's not that impressive, but I did want to talk about the real, real good results I am getting out of the macro racer, specifically with that 10... Uh, by 5.5 inch elliptical double D coil. I mean, it, it is, it's been very, very good. In fact, I'm dedicating uh, this whole week to just using that detector and that coil. I did pack my uh, Go Find 60 in there. The only time I, I would have considered not using uh, that, uh, that detector was if I was scouting a new field. But, uh, I'm just going to just uh, knuckle up and just use it 100% for this week. Uh, this is my Wednesday, so, and not a bad uh, uh, count of fines for this. And this, this is not all of the fines, so don't think I'm saying that's impressive at all. But uh, I'm really, really happy that it hits very hard on small targets. When I swing it, I can almost always find the size of a target. Now, I did not dig all small targets because even if it's a little soft, I picked them up from time to time. And if it was soft and even slightly above the size that I would think that a coin or ring would be, it was almost always junk and trash. I also had a chance to hit some lead targets with it. Uh, I got a couple of lead projectiles, a I also got a uh, a shotgun head stamp and some other things, so I've been able to get a variety of targets with the uh, with that uh, uh, coil. So so far, I am more than impressed. In any case, uh, that's basically what I wanted to tell you. And why am I in this uh, little hotel room? Well, there's a little minor disaster at my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it means that it, uh, that the uh, power is going to be off for a while. And at 90 plus degrees over the next couple of days, it is not a place to be. So with a little aid from my apartment complex, uh, they gave me a bit of money. And I doubled it to get this high in the end. And this is not high end. I'm not that country. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I, I this place, so... I, I'm considering it a one-day mini vacation from a brutal work month that is going to continue tomorrow. In any case, uh, I just want to let you know I'm still out there digging, and uh, I've got to, uh, my fines are stacking up. Like I said, not nothing gold or silver yet, but the, the numbers are are getting uh, respectable now that the uh, the weather has improved, and I've got a new spot to hit tomorrow that's within driving distance of where I work, in fact, closer than some of the other parks. Never been there before, but I'm going to uh, knuckle up and go out to this park. It's not my favorite kind of park. It's big and flat and surrounded by homes, etc. cetera, but uh, it does have a couple of fields in there, and I do need to get some big or uh, more adult-sized ring targets to find. In any case, this is Texas Tiger Diggs. And I will see you next time. I might be working from this room tomorrow. And I might, they might have my apartment back up and going. And I'll be back in there. We'll see how it works. Either way, I'll adapt. Life is fun if you're adaptable. Anyway, I will catch you next time. And uh, like I said, this is all week with the Macro Racer and the 10 by 5.5 inch coil. So far, so good.